everybody hello hello it is tuesday it is zombie time um can we make it to canada again we'll find out we'll see <laughs> hi thor congrats on getting first good to see you good to see you hope you've been well Hope you're having a good week. It's Tuesday. <laughs> it's Tuesday. A gnome? I forgot this was back here. North. 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 I'm supposed to get out of my house, you nerd. Oh, this is the, the gnome's house. <laughs> it's the gnome's house? Okay. Sure. Um, so, I had the, the job interview today. <laughs> I think it went well. I'll find out how it went on Friday. Also, on Friday, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to stream. I probably won't be able to. Oh, I think my phone's being stupid. Wow. There we go. Which app's being dumb again. <laughs> um, so, on Friday... Oops. Shoot. Dang it! <laughs> oh my goodness. Um... So I have a murder mystery dinner party thing that my grandma invited us all to, or my family to. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> and I think it's about the time I start stream, so I might, I might do an early stream on Friday, I'm not sure. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, I was just talking about this. So, I had the interview today. I'll, I'll find out how it went on Friday. I'll see how it goes on Friday. Or went on Friday. He's the, uh, the guy said he'll let me know on Friday. I just said the same thing like five times there. I'm sorry. I'm a bit sleepy. Um... Oh yeah, we did make Chang. Um, so we're early, but does anyone here want to be a character that's not already? I think everybody here is already a character. In that case, we'll get started here. Load me. Uh, load random. We got Cheng again. We got Cheng last time. Alright, we got Lucky. Um, I think it went well. They were very nice. They were super nice. Um, yeah, they, they were super nice. Um... So we unlock Familiar Extreme. Custom characters. Unlock by beating both Deadly or Road Mode and the Familiar Characters mode. Kappa. Abandon all hope ye who enter here. Unlock by beating all the hard difficulties. Familiar Characters, Extreme or Characters, Extreme Marathon mode. What's Marathon? Extremely difficult challenge 30 driving days. Unlock by beating both Deadly or Road mode and long winding road mode there's more <laughs> opp a four fun mode that lets you start with whatever rare characters you would like being from your characters extreme and rare characters extreme okay well i we've never beaten a rare characters mode um so let's let's try this 
This usually can make things a little easier, but not always. Um, do we want to do rare characters? Um, there's some cool stuff in there, but I like seeing chat. I think we'll do a familiar characters mode. And then maybe... I think, do we have one more week of October left? Maybe two? So, maybe the last few streams we'll do. Familiar characters. Hi, Dodo! Thank you for being here. Hope you're doing right, sweetheart. Hope you're having a good evening. Have a good week so far. <laughs> oh, let me turn off my nightlight. Oh, it's already off. My my nightlight is already off. Alright, here we go. Here we go. We're doing the familiar characters run. And then if we lose real quick, uh, the next run we'll do we do will be uh rare characters. It appears rumors that Canada is a safe place, free of the threat of zombies, with nothing to gain from waiting around Florida. He decides to brave the death road and travel north. A very high mechanical skill will let you repair a car right away. Further repairs become harder. Hit the road! <sighs> so it's me and Lucky. To start the journey, the group decides to grab some supplies from a nearby location. In order to survive the death road, you'll need to hoard as many supplies as you can. You also need to find ways to train and grow your team. Yalmart probably has food. Quiet hotel? I don't know what would be in a quiet hotel. House on the road? It's probably just a house. Let's go to Yalmart. Yeah, it's been looted already, but so someone touched stuff in there. Oh, that was sorry about. Okay. Go bargain hunting. Start with a stick? Alright, what's my status? Catch up hopes to find a flamethrower. Window of dog. Lucky fool plans to train an army of anti zombie dogs. Okay. Uh, Lucky's wits are terrible. Our attitudes are great, though. We're, we're feeling amazing here. Get out of here. Food. Food. Uh, a cowboy rifle. Oh, there's a baseball bat. Mwah! Hi, Brett. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? Come on, Mikey. Let's go. You alright? I'm good to hear it. Brett, I'm good to hear it. Brett, have I made you a character in this game? I don't remember. Yeah, there's poop all over the floor. Gross. Why? Uh, just wondering. I can make you, uh, let's see. I think I have to wait till after this. There's gas in that there toilet. <laughs> I throw poop at you. I throw poop at you. If you want, I can make you a, a survivor character, and you can, and I can encounter you in my uh, runs if you would like. Okay. Uh, let me get done with this screwdriver. Sucks. It sucks booty. Okay, was there anything on the shelves? Probably not. Screwdriver sucks. <laughs> Alright. 
Oh gosh. You having a good week though, Brad? Great, hit the car. Is there... Okay. Um Assume I can later with continuing game? Yeah. Okay. All right, bread. Hey, bread, we need to pick your perk. Oh, do I need to hide chant that you can see the options? Probably. Uh, okay. So, bread. Do you want to be a mechanic? Athlete? Fighter? Surgeon? Gunjineer? Yes, you should choose. <laughs> you should choose. Uh, Gunjineer, martial artist, big bruiser, gun collector. Healthcare, car nut, mega buff, ultra fit, friend of dog, explorer, and all those are locked. Dun, ba, boom. Ba, boom, boom, boom. Well, let me know if the volume is okay to engineer. Okay. Good with anything mechanical, and guns are mechanical. Start with a crowbar, gain one point in shooting, and one point in mechanical. Okay. Now we need to pick your trait. Are you paranoid, oblivious, charming, irritating, bandit, mysterious past? Practical warrior, fierce tempered, calm under fire, nurturing, inventive, frantic whiner, resilient type, berserk, civilized, or a city seeker. <laughs> calm under fire, okay. Calm and collected. Useful when shooting into a horde. Very calm due to high composure. One plus one extra point in shooting. Good. All right. Uh, shades. Okay. Or do you want a guy or a girl avatar? It doesn't really, I don't, well, they have different hair options. All that it really changes is hair options, so. Guy? Okay. Let's see. So the faces, there's 30-something faces? 32 faces? So I'm just going to press the button, and you tell me what face you want. Goodness. What even is that? What is that? Some of these six, okay. <laughs> you, you are like six, all right. 
And uh, just tell me, let's go to. There's, there's a lot of hair options. Okay. Now tell me the hair option you want. That's hair one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's just the Bieber's hand. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. The like Krusty the Clown, what is that? <laughs> 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Is it Pegasus? <laughs> 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 36. Okay. Gotcha. Um, what? You want the skin color different? Make it uh, make you super pale. Make it pink or sunburn? No. Okay. I'll just leave it at that then. Um, and your hair color? Do you want a different color hair? Pink, blue. Any color of the rainbow, and then there's natural hair colors. Silver. Okay. Do you want sunglasses? Glasses, sunglasses, there's goggles. Okay, I'll just click through them. One, two, okay, you want two. The sunglasses, nice. And do you want a beard, bread? You want facial hair? Meh. All right. Okay. Are you small or tall or medium? Small. Okay. Um. And is there a particular color you want your clothes to be? Black? Okay, let's see. Oh, there's a black shirt, I think. Oops, darn it. Where was it? It's like 26. Right there.
There we go. Save. There we go. We have bread now. <laughs> we have bread. The new game. The horror continues. Alright. And we should be able to encounter you now. Bandit watch. It's nearly time to camp, but there's been a lot of signs of bandits today. I'll stay up. Stay awake. Feels pretty bad in the morning. My loyalty's pretty good, though. I'm tired, though, which is not great. I can't wait to meet other survivors on the way to Canada. Cool it diplomacy. The group is blocked by another survivor group that sets up a barricade to protect themselves. They're disturbing, distrusting, and heavily armed. The person just they send to talk is extremely annoying. We should try to deal with them. My attitude's really good. Uh, Lucky's wits are terrible, so not Lucky. I'll do it. Ketchup talks to the annoying representative. He manages to be very polite after enough pointless questioning. The group is left through the barricade. Woohoo! <laughs> Did you eat something yummy today, bread? Early morning zombies. The group spices city from the distance. There's more undead than usual, but it's early in the day, so they should be groggy. At least at first. Office building or a police station? Police station's gonna have guns. Ye, you dead? Good, 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 good. I'm glad to hear it, yeah. Kind of screwdriver, frickin'. Frickin' garbage. Terrible. Pick up the stick, Lucky. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's get to that police station. Buttville Police. There are a lot of zombies in here. There's a computer. Can't use it. Oh, Lucky, help me. Oh, gosh. Oh, I can't pick stuff up because I'm tired. Shiv. Okay. I'll trade this bat for a nightstick. Lucky picked up the snub nose pistol. Okay. Oh, there's something in that toilet. A gas. Okay. A gas is a gas. Alright, lucky. I think we have one more door. Maybe? I can't check those filing cabinets for things. Oh gosh. Hmm. 
Man, is this ship actually, like, really good? Eh. Oh, did I get hit? No, I didn't. Fighting. More houses here. Oh gosh. The shiv broke. Looted. Bullets. Let's go. Specifically, rifle ammo. Pistol ammo. Nice. Broom. Nothing in there. Okay. Alright, so we checked over at this house. What is this? Oh, meds. Okay. Looked like a propane tank. Fridge. Meds in the fridge. We haven't found any food. Nothing in there. Alright, we should probably get out of here. I need to kite the zombies though. Don't want the car to take too much damage. Got some meds and ammo though. Okay, I'll do has a vehicle. Okay, it's doing fine. Everything's fine. The zombie watch. It gets like there's no great place to camp, so the zombies haul around in the far distance. One might sneak up on the group where they, they sleep. Let's take shifts. Which was very tight in the morning. Lucky school didn't get sleep break either. Okay. Her morale went down, but I don't think... Okay, we are tired. Never mind, that just made everyone tired. What's with all this zombie stuff? Fight or flip? Lucky fool makes mistakes while scouting a town and gets cornered by a large group of zombies while unarmed. He is trapped in an alley, and at the alley is a heavy is heavy garbage and a large fence. Lucky, I am worried about you. You're tired. Uh, parkour abilities. Lucky fool awkwardly tries to scale the fence, but is way too out of shape to do so. The zombies attack. He, okay, at least we know his fitness now. We know his fitness. Trading on the death road. Okay. A lion statue? 
Humble assistance. You meet an older man who seems to radiate kindness. The group talks to him for a while about nothing in particular. It's a pleasant conversation. Morale increased. I think I'll help you out a little bit. Uh, a few decent weapons or some good advice. Give us some good advice. A little bit of advice can go a long way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lucky's fitness is garbage. Oh, my goodness. Um, our stuff increased, though. Good luck out there. I think you can make it. Thank you, kind man. The group sees a woman staying near a stockpile of crates. The crates seem to contain a large amount of food and drink. I got food. I'm looking for some great weapons. There's nothing right here. Oh, the night stick is a good weapon. A particularly intense looking woman offers to sell you a spare weapon. I only carry the best stuff. She starts her chainsaw and rubs it a few times. Another size is your five food left. Molotovs? <clears throat> I get some, but we only have five food. Uh, pitchfork with your food? No. Alright. <laughs> right. Zero zombies destroyed. I feel pretty good about this. I, I mean, overall. Dog magnet. Lucky fools, a lightning rod. But for dogs, a dog approaches the group out of nowhere. It seems eager to join up. Okay, Jesse. The group accepts Jesse to the team. Jesse joins the team. Onward to Canada. Let's see Jesse. Jesse the dog. Dogs used to be pets. Now are most now most are feral. Jesse has amazing morale. Uh, but that's it. I hope I don't run into any more bandits. One hour cabin vacation. Oh, it's siege time. <laughs> It's siege time! The group gets confused when driving through a forest. They stop at a cabin to figure out where they are, but get trapped by a roaming horde. Siege alert! There's no escape! We have guns. Lucky you, you have a gun. Okay. Alright, Lucky, here we go. Okay, what do we got inside? Wrench. Ammo. Ammo. Stop hitting, beating up all the furniture! There's lots of ammo in here, though. Okay. Let's go. Yep, it's hit the road. Good job, Jesse. You got the, the nail board. Amazing work. You used the wrench. Okay. Ooh. Glimmer of hope on the death road. The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. They feel like they're getting the hang of this. Choose a reward for the group. How's our morale? Uh, my morale could be better. 
Or Lucky gets one plus one to max health. Oblivious. I guess Lucky's fitness so terrible. <laughs> um, plus one to max health would be cool. Sure, I'll take it. Getting toughened up gets extra points to maximum health. Vitality increased. We got a zombie point. Fire! The group goes against their judgment and camps in a city apartment because there's no zombies around. When they wake up, the building's on fire. Plan out escape. Uh, Lucky's wits are garbage. Uh, I'll do it. Ketchup tries to keep calm and observant. He keeps very calm. My composure is average. Okay. Whew. We won the coin flip there. The plans. He plans a fast way out. They leave unhurt. Give it to why the group eats a decent meal. Okay, now I we know my wits at least. Just see choose on its chew toy. While well, driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Um sewer rescue could be one of our friends or a random person. Or we have a packed grocery store. We have six food. The grocery store would be good food. But sewer rescue could also give us food. Or um skill improvements here. Um, let's just see. Grocery? Okay. We'll go grocery. The group spots a big grocery store. Even its parking lot is packed with zombies. Not too many scavengers have been able to get near all the food still inside. Shop for danger. Alright, we have guns. We have guns. That'll have to do. Out and about, let's go. Oh gosh, it is packed. Lucky, you just saved my life. Hang in there, Jesse. We gotta get this food, it'll set us up for a good while. Just get no. Okay. I guess. Eight bullet ammo, okay. There's gotta be stuff in that room. Okay. There's some. We cannot be here too long. Okay, time to go. <laughs> time to go! Okay, bathroom. Okay. 
Okay. Let's get the heck out of here. Okay. That was 31 food. <laughs> if nothing bad happens, we're set for a few days. Another dog! <laughs> a dog approaches the group out of nowhere. Seems eager to join up. Harmon! Okay, mm. Harmon. He's a sheep dog? His morale's not great. <laughs> His morale is not great, but... Uh, Right, I'm out of rifle ammo. Knife. Okay. Okay. How's a car looking? Not great. Not great. Trip to the farm. Group runs into some people that are attempting to run a small farm. They offer eight food in exchange for some help. Jesse Rob the farm. Tilling and planting, hauling and hauling. Let's do tilling and planting. The group helps helps with tilling the fields and planting new crops. It's exhausting work, but they get and they get very tired. Uh oh. Farmer's fitness sucks too. Oh no. <laughs> We're all tired. That's not good. Driving range last stand. Prepare for siege. There's not much time to prepare before the door breaks. Siege alert. There's no escape. We found some golf clubs. Okay, lucky. Give me the gun. Give me the pistol. Lucky. Give me the pistol. I will take it. Oh, gosh. I should have had Lucky bring a flashlight. This is not good. Okay. We'll just have to kite them. Oh gosh. Get me out of it. Get me out of there. Okay. We circle down to the exit. Let's go. <laughs> the worst of the zombie siege is over. The group clears out any remaining zombies outside, then goes back in to sp splat any stragglers so that they can set up a camp. Our morale went up. <laughs> Our morale went up. We need gas, though. Um, deadly Yalmart we just had. And not great. Uh, siege. So let's do the big house. So we tell it's been burnt to the ground. There is a large house looming on a nearby hill. Even from far away, it looks completely swarmed with zombies. Okay. Uh, you don't need it. Pick up other stuff. Okay. Okay. 
See that zombie there. Shoot. Oh, great. I got hurt. Uh, there's nothing in there. What's that door? What's that door? Toilet gas? Okay. Shotgun! Let's go, shotgun! Awesome. Hopefully there's some gas in here. <laughs> okay. Two doors. Um, I mean, food's great. Food is awesome. Can use some gas. And there's no, there's no guarantee that swarmed Yelmart or whatever it was. Would have gas. There's another shotgun. Someone, please pick up the shotgun. Thank you, Lucky. Uh, the trader camp. We can probably sell that sh the extra shotgun for food if we really need to. All right, that was the whole house. We found sixty-seven pistols. Nice. Ooh. Like a normal day. The group meets another person just chilling on a park bench. He seems friendly. They have a conversation just like before the world ended. What was the main topic? Uh, giving me your stuff? Advice change? Jesse's morale is really good, but I, it's, a, it's a dog. Jesse said dog. They're clumsy dogs. Uh, pep talk, Lucky. Lucky fool tries to give a pep talk. The friendly survivor feels very optimistic after the talk and gives an inspiring speech. Let's go. We should have no problems getting to Canada. Says me. The great indoors. The group camps out in a small gym. The group eats a decent meal. The gym is full of ancient exercise equipment. The group has no idea how to use any of it. No. I mean, we could stay for two days. We have enough food and we don't have enough gas. So let's work out for two days. The group gets a good workout on the ancient awkward gym equipment. The results, see the results seem a bit random. Even the animals work out. 16 food. We use 16 food. Fitness increases and Jesse's fitness increases from zero. Something's going on here. Everybody's but my fitness sucks. 
And cars out of gas. Bottomless pit. While walking, Ketchup doesn't notice a hole in his backpack. By the time he realizes this, there had been hours of opportunity for supplies to fall through. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Harmon stubs his toe badly. Oh, no. Harmon. Cabin at the end of the road. After hours of hiking, the group finds a car sitting alongside a country road. It's in great shape. But the keys are missing. A cabin is visible to the north. Let's go get those keys, boys. I'm sorry you got hurt, Harmon. I'm sorry you got hurt. Sure. Lucky you can bring the gun. I don't know. It's fine. It's fine, I guess. Oh, it is late. Yes. It's the cabin. There's the keys to the car. Is there anything else in here? Meds and food? There's nothing in there. Okay, let's get out of here. That's a sports car. Maybe? Or an Oldsmobile? Whatever it's called. 70 gas. It's a fast car. Okay. Um, so, but fast cars are usually fragile. Molotov making. The group finds a trashed house with some bottles and tattered rags. Searching it seemed like a waste of time, but Harmon has an idea. They could make Molotovs if they can spare the gas. Harmon's wits revealed. Harmon has good wits. <laughs> um, we have 70 gas. I don't know how much gas this car uses, though. We'll make two. Be careful with those. Yes, we <laughs> should need to be very careful with those. That'll be good for sieges, though. Wait, who has a tragic past? Who was that? Harmon does some serious eye rolling. I was pretty jesting. City in the rain. It started to rain over this city. Zombies become more aggressive in response for reasons that have not been explained. Bookstore, apartment with a bark banner. That's a dog. Let's go to the bookstore. I don't know if I've done a bookstore yet. This is the bookstore. Bookatorium. <laughs> you can throw books at the zombies. Why is this bookstore just walls? Ow. Okay. Bookstore, does it have another room? Okay, it does. Thank goodness. It's just a bathroom. Okay. Is there one on the other wall? No. There's nothing in this bookstore. Okay, here's a house. I think. What's that door? A kitchen. Oh. Blow torch. Okay. 
Nothing. Another blowtorch, though. That's nice. Ooh. There's some more houses. Nothing in there. Ooh. Six bullets. Let's go. Oh, oven. Just check the oven. Lucky dropped his wrench. What did he drop his wrench for? Uh, meat cleaver. Okay. More ammo. Oh gosh. Okay. Is that my best friend? Is that a ball peen hammer? Is that what I think it is? It's a ball peen hammer! Let's go. Oh. Uh. Harmon picked it up. Okay. Harmon, can you drop the. If Harmon doesn't drop the ball peen hammer, uh, then I don't need to worry about picking it up. I do like the night stick, but the ball peen hammer is fun. <laughs> the ball peen hammer is fun. It's a sturdy weapon, too. Alright, well, what's this house? There it is. Okay. Jesse picked up my nightstick. He just threw it. Come on. Pick it up. Okay. Bam! See ya, zombies. Okay. Oof. Jesse goes, Arroo! Death Road Sing Along. The group was sitting around a campfire. Finding this campsite was rough, so they are getting in a bad mood. Sing a song. The group tries to keep spirits high by singing. Whether or not singing was any good mostly depends on your attitude. And we know their attitudes now. Is that a neutral sound where nothing good or bad happens? Hmm. Car collecting bandits. Bandits have blocked the narrow road ahead with their cars. Their leader, Lord Humongoid, speaks. Just walk away! Give me your car, your oil, the gasoline! And I will spare your lives. Uh... Refuse in a fight! The group knows that every single one of their supplies are essential to the chances of reaching Canada, so they fight. We're all hurt. This cat food doesn't taste that bad. Okay. The group continues making progress along the death road. As long as one person remains alive, the dream of Canada lives on. Let's visit the trader camp. Weapons bartering. The group sees a woman standing near a stockpile of crates. The crates seem to contain a large amount of food and drink. I got food and look over some great weapons. What's this? Kedra finds a magazine in good condition among the ruined magazines and books. The magazine's title is Cool Runnings. He stuffs it into his pack. <laughs> Doctors! Big deal! I could teach you everything you need to know about medicine here in this bathroom. Way better than any quote-unquote university. Spittle shoots out of their mouth when they say university. You dimly wonder how long they've been in this bathroom and if they've washed their hands. 
Uh, let's get five food for group training. The group, the entire group's group gets medical training. It's almost entirely group pantomime of proper golfing technique. <laughs> uh, medical went up at least. Okay. There's a cleaning lady in here. She doesn't seem to actually be working. She says up the group. I know what you're really here for. You've come all the way here for the hospital food. I can sneak you the cafeteria meal you crave for a price. Refuse to do this on principle. Leave for now. Ten food for cafeteria food. Or try to recruit her. Holding a spoon. Jesse is hurt. I mean, having a third person wouldn't be a bad idea. Can we try to recruit her? Base spins her mop rapidly around her wrist. Time to clean up this mess. Mop water soaks the group pretty bad. The group is full. Who would you like to replace to make room for B? Um, Jesse's hurt. Both their fitness is garbage. Harmon has good wits, though. But Jesse was here first. Jesse was here the longest. Uh, so we'll leave Harmon. Harmon gets good out of the group to make room for B. B joins the team. Onward to Canada. We have Cafeteria Lady now. I've been treating nothing but zombie bites. Some light burns, propane tank injuries, and stubbed toes for what feels like six years now. <laughs> tell me. Tell me you have any sort of disease. Ideally, a dramatic mystery disease, but even something like food poisoning would be great at this point. Anything but another zombie bite. Oh, I'm hurt, and, and Jesse's hurt. Welcome to the final hospital. I'm selling some crucial medical supplies to help you on your journey. Thing spray XL with 10 sprays. Golden scalpel? Welcome to the burn unit. Who's going to get burned? I imagine that uh, that's going to make someone's morale worse. Yeah, let's go. Group now has the magazine Cool Runnings. Who should get to read it? It's probably Fitness. Um, I'll read it. Ketchup gets to read cool runnings. He absorbs the content. Sadly, he ruins the magazine further due to his grimy fingers. Thorn, thank you for the raid. Thank you. We should try to set the zombies on fire more. Easiest way. Oh, you're out of gas. <laughs> That's not good. Nice walk. Uh, but hi, readers. Hi, hi. Thank you for supporting Thorn. Um... If you don't know me, I am Ketchup the Bear, I'm your local Teddy Variety streamer. I do a variety of content. I do ASMR streams every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And uh, the rest of the week we play games. Uh, we're playing spooky games this month. Uh, we're playing The Walking Dead every Monday. Um, we might, we're, I think next week is, we'll be finishing up the first season, whatever you want to call it. Um, so... I might just put it down till next year. Because <laughs> this game's pretty long, and I don't know if I want to play it that long. Seems like it's going to take forever. Um, but every Tuesday, we're playing Death Road to Canada. Um, that's what we're playing right now. <laughs> Thursdays, we're playing through Signalis. And, uh, yeah, Signalis is a, lots of fun. And Saturday, we're playing through Grim Fandango Remastered. 
The group continues walking through the countryside. It's very uneventful. Right. Group spots an old boot on the road. It doesn't look like it's anyone's size. But hey, it's free. Get that boot. Excuse me. Oh, she's stuck with Ultra Mop. Okay. We have the boot. We don't need this spoon. What are these wood pieces? But how was Dream Thorn? Did it go okay? You have a good time? Your friends are rest up after hours of walking along the road. Right in front of it is a car that looks like it can be driven. Keys must be somewhere near. Thick hunting and mourning. Okay, we should be fine. Dream was okay? That's good. That's good. You were a play wizard? Nice. It's the dog car! Let's go! That's a lot of zombies. Gun. gun, which is good. Gas? One gas. Okay. We got some food from those vending machines. And a gun, and we got some ammo. everything okay Let's try and clear out these zombies Yeah, I'm glad we got a B. Uh, having two dogs is cool, but... Oh, shoot, we hit the car. We hit the car. That's very loud. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's very loud. We have 8 food, 74 gas, lots of ammo. Nice. Factory complex. The group gets overwhelmed by a horde and flees for a nearby factory. There must be somewhere. There must be another way out inside. Kidding me. This run is ruthless. Okay, there's a gun. Give me the blowtorch. Alright, lucky. Here we go.
We found another butane, butane torch, however you say it. Okay, that kind of makes light. The zombies are on fire! Lucky's on fire! Okay, gotta be careful with that. Gotta be careful with that. Cause... <laughs> Oops, shoot. Try to use that on like a horde and like run away. this oh nice there's some stuff the door behind the a thing Okay, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> There's gas right here. screwdriver. <laughs> it was like a, a turkey baster. That's the exit. Climb out! We found this another blowtorch. Awesome. Lucky you're gonna go through all our shotgun ammo, but uh, it's okay. I guess. <laughs> I guess it's fine. Okay. This is 13 gas. Group feels, feels blah, blah, blah. <laughs> The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. They feel like they're getting the hang of this. Choose a reward for the group. Now random skill gain. Mechanical morale and one health heal. That would be nice because I'm hurt. And so is Jesse, and we have no meds. So we'll take that. Now there's Zombo Point. The group finds an abandoned campground with a fire pit. Ketchup even finds an old, somewhat stale, extra large pack of marshmallows. <laughs> Eat the marshmallows. The group sets up camp, then eats a huge bag of marshmallows to start eating dinner. There's even some left over. I got two food. No food, at least I'll lose some weight. <laughs> Jump it, man! Suddenly a giant fish erupts across the road ahead. It's big. Super big. The asphalt buckles on either side, making it for a pretty sick ramp. We gotta gun it. Someone died. Or, or we're all hurt. Okay. Rups into flames. I've been clearing the obstacle. Uh oh. 
He grabs the wheel and pounds the gas pedal. The, gr the car bolts forward, ripping a howling screech into the sky. B's morale increases. <laughs> the slow car immediately flips upside down and erupts into flames, not even clearing the obstacle. And we're all hurt. Jesse died! No! Jesse! And, and we're critically injured. We're walking along a, alongside a large stream. B notices some fish in the water. B tries to trace their luck, goes into the water, and tries to catch some fish by hand. By some miracle, B is, was able to catch a decent sized catfish. Oh, shoot. The group runs into a particularly rough stretch of road. Uh, there's nothing life threatening about it, it's just a long and miserable walk. They get bruised and battered in multiple small accidents. Look, he's hurt again. We're all one blip away from dying. MPGs! While wandering through a small town, Ketchup discovers a newer hybrid car in front of a store. The battery is dead, but the store turns out to be a car parts store. Finding a working battery was easy. Hybrid parts of amazing gas mileage, but are fairly fragile. They're also very difficult to repair, so enjoy it while you can. Start it up. Oh my goodness. This car is going to last forever. Just hope it lacks enough medical supplies. Lucky fools, the lightning rod, but for dogs. A dog approaches the group out of nowhere. It seems eager to join up. Hi, Marcos. How's Marcos? Is... Marcos is a dog. It's a clumsy dog. They joined you in order to avoid doing her cleaning job. <laughs> Zombies are no problem. Well, maybe a small problem. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Hospital raid. <laughs> we have to do the hospital raid. A group sees a hospital. Me medical supplies can often still be found inside places like this due to the large amount of undead still wandering around. Okay, Marcos. I have the blowtorch and a gun. Lucky, take the Cowboy rifle. We gotta find some meds. I almost just died. That would suck. Nothing. There's nothing in here. Okay, come on. There's nothing in here. Okay. I'm sorry, Jesse. <laughs> Poor Jesse. Meds. Alright. 
Oh boy. Man, this was lucky. <laughs> Okay. Oh, no. I thought maybe that was a cabinet. Nope, oh, that's just a bed. Amazing. <laughs> Freaking amazing. We found eight. I think I can get some wonderful. I think that's it for the hospital. Yeah, let's go. Oh! All right. Smelly campsite. The campground the group sets up smells terrible. The source of smells a complete mystery. Enjoy the smell. The group endorsed the smell zone all night until passing out. They're not happy in the morning, but they were at least able to sleep. That's good. That's more important. We do not want to be tired. Whew. Bandits are guarding a narrow section of the road. They're dressed in ridiculous anime outfits. Fifteen food? Refuse to fight. Group knows that every single one of their everybody's hurt. <laughs> but we kept our food. I never leave home without my trusty can opener. Bandits are guarding your shit. <laughs> really? Really? I have to give them the food, because otherwise I'll die. I was get <laughs> me and Marcos would die if we got hurt. It's sucrose. Goodbye, Marcos. I'm sorry, but we need sucrose. <laughs> we need sucrose. Gratitude's great. If you ignore the zombies, it's just like a regular road trip. All right. Uh, let's see. Status. Sucro says she was a famous video game streamer. Shit! Yes. Let's go! Let's go! She's a famous video game streamer. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture of this. If someone wants to clip that, that's great. <laughs> that's amazing. That's amazing. Frickin' amazing. Holy smokes. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. Um, it's great. Because she has the martial arts perk. So she hits really hard. But she can't use guns. Swarmed Arcade has an arcade cabinet. Um... To play a game. Stretch, thank you, Chang. And butter, okay. And a treat. For me to drink more. Is that why you're is that why you do this to me, Chang? Oh my god. 
gifts. Thank you for the red team. Just jank, thank you. Um, but, uh, so, if I do get this job, its hours are 3 to 7. Its hours are 3 to 7. So, uh, 3 to 7, Monday through Friday. So, um, 3 p.m. to 7 p.m., yep. We either have to do morning streams or like do streams later and probably not as long besides weekend streams. So we'll, we'll have to think about that. <laughs> I wouldn't go to the rest stop. We just had to give away. 15 of our food. Why do you have two scalpels? Why do you have two scalps? <laughs> Alright, here we go. F room with nothing in it. Yeah, it's 3 to 7 p.m. the same schedule probably just have to start at eight would probably just have to start at eight unless you guys don't want me eating in like the beginning of streams yeah uh, let me check that door i think that was everything is there anything around here says you, Ching. <laughs> no, I know, Ching. I know. We found the day's worth of food. More pistol ammo. Car is smoking. That's not good. We just got it. Night siphon. The group sets up camp late on the nearby highways. A bunch of abandoned cars. They broke broke it, but many should have a little bit of gas. We have plenty of gas. Uh, darn it! The next morning, the group goes to siphon the cars, but notices a large horde of zombies approaching, and the gas has to be abandoned. <laughs> The group eats a decent meal. Oh, give me a second. I gotta blow my nose. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, thank you, Chang. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Yeah, 
It's it's a schnauzer. Sorry, Tessa, I have to leave you behind. No, I'm not. That was just a, it was not a thing, Chang. Dark and creepy store. The group finds a waterlogged store. There's a lot of mannequins inside, barely visible in the darkness. The whole store is especially creepy. There were some moldy supplies left in there. Uh, my wits are average. Okay, we're gonna have sucrose do it. Go sucrose. We're gonna destroy uh, shoes or comrades out there claiming there was no loot. Darn it. Oh, her composure's not great. Take a lot of ammo if I'm gonna make it. Um. Big office complex or Kevin rescue? We need food. There's potential we can get food from the cabin rescue, the person we rescue. Uh, you can use a gun. Maybe. That works for me. Um, so I can still stream evenings. If my shift starts at 3, I can sleep in. That's not a problem. Um, but streams will be later. <laughs> we'll be starting later. Maybe. I mean, I could get home before 7.30. And then eat after stream. Um, Kevin Rescue also might have ammo. Um. But, uh... I'm hurt, but we're otherwise fine. Let's do the cabin rescue. Siege alert. Uh-oh. Driving along a rural road, the group, group hears gun, gunfire coming from a cabin distance. The forest near the cabin ripples with movement of an unseen horde. Attempt rescue. Let's go, guys. We got... Okay. Oh, no. They just have the same hair as bread. Okay. Jamie says that he really wants to get out of this place. You can follow me, Jamie. He could be useful if you can get him out of here alive, or a handy distraction if you can't. Nothing is in there. Get out. Trade them around here. Okay. Let's go. Yep, let's hit the road. Woo! Found three food. Uh, okay. Give me the ammo. This is unfortunate. I thought there would be food. There's not. Are we there yet? Grocery trust exercise. The group sets up camp outside a grocery store. There's another group has been following them and will probably attempt to loot the place. My loyalty's good. I'll go. The other members stand guard outside for the looters as Ketchup searches the grocery store. Brings back some food. Nice! Oof. Don't always have to get every recruit unless we have lots of food. True sucrose. Car breakdown. The car is broken down from use and abuse. It won't start up again. 
don't know what V's mechanical is. You can fix it, V. What? V pops the hood of the car. She completely fails to repair the car after wasting a day on it. Oh, it's a panda. Okay. It played the good sound. Oh, great. Leap of faith. The group gets sandwiched by zombie horde. Uh, the fall is painful, but not fatal. All dirty. While walking through the woods, Ketchup doesn't pay attention to where he's going and falls into a deep puddle of water. His gear is fully submerged, putting supplies in danger. Great. <laughs> Car preservation tunnel. The group walks into the entrance of a dark tunnel filled with cars. Late night. Okay. Uh, in a working car in there. Also puts... Oh, also lots of zombies so you can't escape from easily. Okay, I'm giving Sucrose a flashlight. Why can't I take the gun from you, Sucrose? <laughs> There we go. Shoot. Okay. Oh well. Sucrose can't use guns. Pretty sure. Alright. Bring a shotgun. The Actually, bring the pistol. Bring the pistol. I don't know if you can use it, but bring the pistol. Alright. Here we go. Hi, Boober! Hi, Boober. How are you? Good to see you. Okay. <laughs> please go follow Boo Bear. Please, please, please. Boo Bear, super sweet. Sweet streamer. They're a fellow bear. Guns. Sorry, that's really loud. Always Bergen. It's a burger truck. Don't hit the car, please. The group is asked for help by a settlement. They say that they will be raided by bandits soon. If the group helps with the defense, with 15 foods of ammo and a cowboy rifle, this could be very dangerous. We need food. Build up defenses, B. Shoot. Tries to fortify some things, but the efforts didn't seem to much help. Oh gosh. <laughs> Refuse to give the word. Oh, well, that was a waste of time, and our morale's terrible. And three of us are practically dead. <laughs> okay. Uh, food and drink. Great weapons. Sorry about it. We leave sorry about it for now. Uh, stream's going well. This run has been very cursed so far. <laughs> Just chilling. That's good. I'm doing okay. I had a job interview today. I hope it went well. I'll find out if it went well. Um. Uh, on Friday. We have 200 gas. Um. 
how many days till Canada? I'm not sure. Um, trade 50, yes. Uh, that's four food. Okay, that's 10. The group talks to a meek looking woman. She invites you to check out her collection of rifles. Don't need a cover rifle. That's pretty much what it is. <laughs> this is Death Road to Canada. You're, you drive 14 days from Florida to Can the Canadian border. Um, with This run has been uh, pretty rough. <laughs> it's been pretty rough. A medical attention. The group finds a woman surrounded by medical equipment. She claims to be a skilled doctor that was provide health care exchange for food. You have 10 food left. Use charm, sucrose. Sucrose convinces Dr. Offer. She's just that charming. Okay, Sucrose got healed. At least. <laughs> at least Sucrose did. Hey, DJ. I'm do doing okay. Um, I had a job interview today. I hope it went well. <laughs> hey, Tetro! Group meets a woman wearing oil-stained coveralls. I can help you... Get better at repairing stuff. It's a real handy skill. It might save your life. I don't have enough food to spare. Why do the, these the trader camps happen right after terrible things happen and we have no food? Why is that? <laughs> Thank you, DJ. We might. I'm going to trade another 50 gas. Okay. We're in a van. It's slow. Um, and we're five days away. I once saw a bodybuilder throw a car at zombies. Oh, nice! Sucrose morale increased from hearing somebody throw a car. That's funny. Group runs into a horde too thick to drive past and gets cornered. They run for a good place to fight a siege, but the nearby buildings all look ruined. They're in a bad spot to fight. It's an hour long. Okay, we have ammo for guns. Uh, what time of day was it? Near sunset. Okay, Sucrose can bring the flashlight. That's fine. That's fine. Do I bring the Molotovs? <laughs> Do I bring the Molotovs? It's only an hour long, but it's outside. I have I have the blowtorch. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Oh gosh. But thank you for stopping by, Boo Bear and Tetra. I hope the volume's okay. <laughs> it's kind of loud in my headphones, but. Maybe it's better to be stuck in this corner. I don't know. This, this place isn't big enough to kite them. Inspired after managing to survive that situation, Round random skill gain medical fitness full heal. I think we need the morale. <laughs> we need the morale. Two Zamba points. I want to find a tank to drive around. That'd be cool. <laughs> can shooting practice. 
The group camps out in a big field. The group eats a decent meal. Shoot the cans. The group gets some shooting practice by blasting the cans. The shooting increases. A uh, man in red long johns runs in onto the field with a pitchfork. My currents, my precious antique currents! Oh, look what you've done to him! Shakes a pitchfork as he yells. Everybody's morale decreased. So that was a waste. <laughs> I guess. It's surprising how long a burger or hot dog takes to go bad. Says Lucky. Still having to wait in line. The group runs into a horde of zombies. They're completely docile. Just waiting outside of a shop in a big single file line. Every zombie is starting staring straight ahead. You can send someone to join the line to solve this mystery. It looks like it could be a long wait. I've never seen this before. I guess I'll send Sucrose. Sucrose waits in line. It inches forward to Sucrose's great irritation. Just think about it positively, but she managed to survive and get inside the store. She got 10 food and 4 medical. Let's go! <laughs> Oh, my morale went up. Awesome. Explosives are great until you blow yourself up. The group is traveling close to nightfall and sees a city in the distance. Sporting goods store, pet shop. Pet shop might have dogs in it. Maybe food. Um, sporting goods store probably has weapons, but we don't really need those. How many shotgun shells do we have? 13. Alright, uh, let's go to the pet shop. Okay. Where is it? Where are you, pet shop? But did you guys eat something yummy today? I had cereal for breakfast, and then uh, we had teriyaki chicken bowls for dinner, because my sister was craving it. Hi, pupper. The dog is feral. It's no longer capable of trusting humans. The dog eyes, dog's eyes glimmer with recognition for a brief moment. Sorry, puppers. It doesn't seem like... Oh, there could be other houses up here. Okay, there is. Ammo. Amazing. Nothing in there. Oh, that was close. <laughs> that was close. I have 1 HP. Pistol ammo. Always nice to have some of that. Nothing in there. Okay, this house had some stuff in it. This house. Hammer. I have my ball peen hammer. I don't need that hammer. Oops, sorry. Sorry, chair. Nope. Nothing. Nothing. Alright, the music is getting sinister. I'm glad they don't have to be holding the flashlight for it to light up. That's great. That is great.
Okay, I think that's probably everything. Um... Okay, we're good. We're going. <laughs> we're going. Where's the van? Five food and a medical. Okay. Let's go. No more creepy pastas. The group is sitting around a campfire resting before a brutal day tomorrow. Just go to sleep. Just go to sleep. With civilization gone, I mostly just miss video game streamers. <laughs> Says B. Mysterious radio signal. The group finds a strange repeating message on the radio. It's a series of short bursts of music, beeps, spoken numbers, and haunting and slide whistle noises. There's also a kazoo on in there. What could it all mean? Uh, drive to signal. The group attempts to drive to the signal by listening for a radio broadcast. As it gets weaker or stronger, it takes quite a bit of time. So much food it eats less, and our morale is decreasing. Everyone left in a hurry, leaving behind a stash of supplies. Oh, cool, we still got food. <laughs> Heal up. It starts saying their wounds. Treats all of their wounds. Let's go, we're all healed now. <laughs> Hi, Floof! How are you, Floof? Good to see ya. Busy hotel? Swarmed rest stop. So red means it's a siege. Red means it's a siege. You're sick. I'm sorry to hear that floof. That's no good. I'm doing okay. I had a job interview today. I think it went well. They're very nice. Uh, excuse me. Um, the rest stop could mean we get some morale, though. Which would be great. Excuse me. Sorry about that. It's a bummer being sick. Yeah. It's not good. Irritated attempt to explore. All right, here we go. Oh, gosh, there's nothing in this bathroom. Vending machines. Let's go. Best wishes. Thank you, Floof. I hope you feel better soon. I hope it's not uh, throw up sick. Being throw up sick sucks. It's a nose and cough sick. Oh, that's not good either. But I'm glad you're not throwing up. Holy crap! <laughs> that's a lot of zombies. That's so many zombies! Food. Oh, an axe. 
Okay, that was worth it. There's lots of food in there. B, can you pick up that snub nose? I guess your pistol's fine. Your pistol's fine. Oh gosh. Wait, the car is smoking. <laughs> the group is driving down a long stretch of road. No threats on the horizon, but not much of it also of interest either. Exactly, the group finds someone they can trade with. Okay. The group beats a man who is carrying many swords. They clink around as he moves. One day I'll make the finest zombie slicing sword ever seen. I just have to figure out how to make swords first. I'll sell you some I found. I have my ball peen hammer. I don't need your swords. The group sees a woman standing near a stockpile of crates. Nothing right now. This man is selling anime and anime accessories from the converted food truck. Uh, we bought the anime figurine last time and it killed everybody's morale. Um, no anime. We need this food. We have enough food for the rest of the trip. Alas, poor Harley. I knew him. Catch up. How do you know my name? I think that's everybody. Yep. Okay. Buying furniture as zombie seems pretty effective, says Sucrose. Quick stop. Along after a long drive, the group finds a safe place to camp. The night passes with no incidents. The group eats a decent meal. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Being prepared is one of the most important parts of survival, says Sucrose. Ouija board. The group is poking around to an abandoned house and finds a Ouija board, TM. Ouija. On the kitchen table. It's a common game used to communicate with ghosts. These things are rumored to be incredibly cursed with bad luck, so beware. Still, maybe we're asking a question. Leave this nonsense alone. No, I'm not risking it. Okay, the car's out of gas. This could be very bad or not too bad. Immortal American pastime. The group spots a car speeding down the road. Maybe it's the stranger can help them without slowing down. The driver just yells, "Nerds!" and the car is gone. Lucky fool didn't notice any of this. <laughs> Roughing it. The group finds a nice spot to camp for the night in the woods. Wind and rain move in during the night, catching group by surprise. Oh no! <coughs> the Everybody's just gonna quit the team. Oh, our morale went up. Okay. Ooh. Group is robbed by weak bandits. The bandits are a kind that would normally win your food and quarter of your ammo. Lucky Fool says, What did you say? Lucky Fool says something like, What did you say? But really, he just didn't hear them. The bandits misunderstand this and are very intimidated by Lucky Fool. They flee and scatter. Lucky Fool has no idea what happened, but is glad the bandits are gone. Long road to walk. The group finds a long road full of abandoned cars and the zombies that may used to own them. There must be a lot of gas still in their tanks, and there must be a car that still runs. Okay, we don't have any gas yet. Look for a good car. Nice. 
Where is this car? There it is. It's a police car. Oh, golly. Sheesh. <laughs> Goodness. You found a cop car. It's fast. Okay. City escorts. The group drives into the outskirts of a city. Zombies will mill around, but they haven't seemed to notice the car yet. Infest's stronghold. There could be something good in here. There could be something good. I'm going to leave the torch. Actually, uh, let's see. Ad break starts in five minutes. Just a heads up. Leave the tennis racket. Okay. Red's Fort, okay. I'm glad we got B. Number those pistol on the floor. Okay, get out of the closet. Let's fight them right here. Cause that room's way too small. of ammo in here. Lots of ammo in this place. Which is good. Okay, leave. Close that door. Don't want to have to deal with those bozos. Okay. up here. Pipe bombs! That could be very useful. Just gotta be careful not to throw those in action. Oof. Okay. 
This place is huge. Okay. I feel better about this run. <laughs> I am. It's going well so far. There's Molotovs. <laughs> I give some of the bombs. They're gonna use them. Super has picked up a shotgun for some reason. Okay, lucky here. Have the pipe bombs. But don't use them. You understand me? You understand me, Lucky? Do not use those bombs. this whole place done. Nothing. Ammo! Might be something in here. Junk. Okay. Great. <laughs> More junk. Okay. We're at the two hour mark of the stream, so the run should be done soon. We're either going to die or we'll make it to Canada. It'd be fun to make it to Canada with four people. <laughs> okay. Just a random axe on the floor. We'll make it. Maybe. <laughs> I have Molotovs. I have four Molotovs now. A torch. Or a few uh, propane torches, retain torch, whatever you want to call it. Wait, where's B? Sorry, B. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, there's ammo. Okay, team. Do you know how to do pre set up predictions, Thorn? I'm not sure I do. Um, okay. Wrong way. This way. Food. Food. And the food. Oh, Thorn can't hear me. <laughs> Thorn can't hear me. I have rifle ammo. Nice. Okay. Let's go. Let's get out of here. We've had 20 food. We're set now. Don't know about gas, but we... Maybe the preppers run to something after all, says me. 
The group camps in a sturdy building. It seems to be an old repair shop with busted machinery laying around. This would be a great time to train with repairing things, but that would take, make a lot of noise. Just go to sleep. <laughs> Just go to sleep. Someone started a prediction. In a house with a generator attached, the group stumbles onto a working computer. You did? Okay. Will we make it to Canada? Uh, oh, I can't. <laughs> I can't make a prediction. You guys can. You guys can. I think we can make it. I feel good about this. I feel good about this one. Uh, play QP basic games instead. We tried to get on the internet last time and it just did not work. The group plays some ga plays a game about gorillas throwing bananas at each other. It is incredible. The power eventually runs out, but until then, the experience is magical. We have enough food and gas for the last two days. We have to go through, like, two or three more sieges, though. So, um, we'll see. We'll see. Morale went up. That's good. It couldn't hurt to team up with more survivors. Catch up, we have a full team. Last shot before ca before Canada. An enormous army of undead shambles around the carnage that surrounds the border of, to Canada. Excuse me. Many have tried to get through. Most only succeed in having their bodies added to the horde. Maybe your team will be different. This is the last chance to trade. Good luck. You have 21 food left. There's 4k? 4.5k? And yes? Is that all you, Chang? Oh, gosh. The group sees a woman standing near a stockpile of crates. The crates seem to contain a large amount of food and drink. I got food. I'm looking for some great weapons. I'm not giving you my weapons. The group sees a man staying near an SUV. Do you have any spare gas? I'm running out. Nope, I don't have spare gas. <laughs> I don't have spare gas. Put your eye out, kid. Foxtrot? Sorry, Foxtrot, we have a full team. I heard some people are going to Canada, lol. No, don't put you a 50k! Don't do that, Chang. Don't do that. Okay, someone just needs to bet no. Uh, and then you win points. If, if everyone just votes yes, you get the same amount of points back. Because if someone votes no, they get all 4.5k to themselves. But if everybody votes yes, then those get divided up among the people that did predict. So you're losing out. Um, but, uh, oh well. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. There's still time. It's an old but fit man in matching gray sweatpants and sweatshirt. He screams something about building mass and bulk with an intense strength routine. He flails towards some heavy objects laying around. You have 21 food left. Um, use charm, Sucrose. Sucrose accidentally just comes off as creepy. How about those zombies? What a pain, am I right? Alright. The group finds some answering a bunch of firearms. Don't need those. Luca almost made to Canada. He's got as far as the city of crushed hopes, where the rest of his group was eaten. He offers to join you for ten food. He has a real good feeling about this attempt. Okay. So Thorn, if you voted yes. One in the banner thing? What? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You have 42 gift subs. Oh, you can't vote? You made the poll? Is that how it works? Oh, boy. Well, Chang, do you lose all your points or do you get it back? 
Thank you for believing in me. All right. Group meets a woman holding a Roman candle. It's unlit. She seems like she's ready to light it at any moment. So strong, so pretty, so practical. You have 21 food left. I won't be liable if you blow yourself up with a KO Boomer. Two Mount Dingus TM. KO Boomer. Are they, is this ex explosives? Oh, right. Roman candles are fireworks or something, right? I thought she was ex <laughs> holding a candle. Talks to a friendly scavenger who's selling extra bullets. So not a big deal. <laughs> I mean, 4K, that's like three streams. Maybe a stream and a half. Oh, did somebody... Can I make things interesting? Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. Well, I feel like I'm going to let someone down either way. Um, do we buy some two Mount Dingus? We have 21 food. I'll buy two Mount Dingus. Two pack of Mount Dingus. The most disappointing firework on the market. Oh. Great. <sighs> no, I know. I know. I know, Floof. I know, Floof. Here we go. So we have this siege, and then we might have two sieges left. Uh, we have one day left. So this is the last siege, and then Canada. There is no escape. It's one and a half. Only one and a half hours? The last one was four and a half. Last run, it was four and a half, I think. Maybe. Let's just run before they can find safe camp. Oh, that one's coming. We're hiding out in the house. The mountain dingus doesn't even explode. Maybe it does. I don't know. Sucrose, you can't use guns. <laughs> sure, Lucky, you can keep those pipe bombs on you, I guess. Okay. If we're inside a house, I don't know if I want to bring Molotovs. I'll bring the blowtorch. Um, here be bring the shotgun. So you have two guns now. Okay. Okay, and Lucky has pipe bombs. We'll see if he uses them. Okay. There's a side room here. We do not want to go in there. Oh, I didn't check. I didn't look at what time it was before we... When we started. Back up, B! can leave now.
Okay, let's check this side room before we leave, now that the siege is over. Is there anything in here? A food. Okay. <laughs> yep. This can open has seen better days. Glimmer of hope on the death road. The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. They feel like they're getting the hang of this. Real random skill gain morale and one health healed fitness. How's our morale? Pretty good. Uh, let's up our fitness. Hey, thank you for the water. We got three Zombo points. Okay. In the stretch. Oh, we're out of gas! Okay. Canada is close, but zombie forecast is bad. It's raring to go. My dexterity increases. You fool can't wait. Okay. Could be surrounded by seemingly endless undead. Face off one last siege. This is the final siege, but not the last battle. Yep, four hours. Okay. Lucky, I hope you can use those. Uh, we don't have any pistol ammo. Here, take a shotgun. Um, actually, Lucky. Take the torch. I don't know if he can use it. Take the torch. I am going to take the Molotovs. I'm taking the Molotovs. Okay, Sucrose. Your Sucrose, ta you take the bombs. I don't know if you can use them. But take them, just so we have them. That's probably a good idea. Lots of skeletons in the street. Okay, there's already a lot of zombies. Don't know if that'll do much. Maybe not. Okay. okay. Woo! He got hurt. Come on, guys! Come on! Okay, I have one Molotov left. Someone might have gotten hurt. Okay. 
Give me the pipe bomb, Sucrose. is going better than I thought it would. Those Molotovs uh, did some work. Not a lot, but they did some. Always be moving. Run, guys, run! Was something else. Killed teammate 75 times. We got an achievement. Oh, we need to watch out for possible bandit ambushes. I think we're okay. The end of the death road. This is it! This is it! The border of Canada is just north of here. The group must cross the bridge, then reach the fort that serves as a checkpoint right outside of Canada. This is the final challenge. Good luck. You can make it. Okay. We have rifle ammo. So, uh, uh, lucky. Take, uh, that. And then B, take that. Sure. Don't have a lot of ammo left. Um, <laughs> it'll, it'll have to do. It'll have to do. I still have a pipe bomb. Okay, Sukos, bring this so I can trade it with you. Okay, here we go. Come on, team! Oh gosh. Sucrose! Ah. Okay. Oh golly. an igloo. Oh my goodness. It's a boot. It's a boot time. More. Sorry. Give me the torch, Sucrose. Let me take care of it, eh? Woo! <laughs> Is there beam? Oh my gr goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Did you bring a toboggan? Here, wipe that gunk off with this serviette. Here's a toy for a double for a double double at Timmy's. It's about time y'all show up to see us, you know, winky face. My favorite anime is Dragon Ball Z. Please remove all firearms from your knapsack. <laughs> You've got a can-do attitude, eh? Congrats on making it to Canada. The Prime Minister himself makes the group honorary citizens of Canada. 
He welcomes them to the last remaining nation on Earth. Two Zomba points earned. Onward to Canada! Give her! No jerk left behind. One with a full team. Let's go! Death Road to Canada. Sucrose. I saw a lot of familiar faces. We get more dialogue. Saying Zia said I turn right back. <laughs> Mountie. Welcome to Canada. But what became of them in Canada? Sucrose. I learned a lot about myself and zombies. Sucrose from the northern frontiers having more adventures but with less zombies. B. We really cleaned up. B got rich by selling a new type of mop that won't break when smashing zombies. <laughs> Ketchup. That wasn't so bad. Ketchup took up hockey, excelling it after all that practice, knocking zombie teeth around. Lucky Fool. Canada is going to be great. Lucky Fool spent his life trying to get one of his dogs elected as Prime Minister. Thank you for playing. Death Road to Canada. Zombies were no match for your group. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you for voting. <laughs> Floop and Chang, thank you. All right, we got unlocks to do. Hello, I'm. You know me, don't you know me? Extra ZP one, more rare traders ten, trader camp gnome. Let's just do. My pal Domi will give you a good deal. He'll start lo loitering around trader camps. Let's you buy a little bit of extra supplies from. Know me, the trade gnome. You take ZP as currency and you may buy one thing from him per game. Besides supplies, you may also sell extra, an extra recruit. More rare traders. In trader camp, sometimes a real weirdo can show up. Rare traders have rare deals. When you rescue someone, you should probably shake them down. For the sweet Zamba points, get one ZP every time you rescue a person or dog. Note, for no rescues, only rare rescues don't count. That seems pretty good. Yep, you can, if you're the only person that voted yes, uh, you get 10k points. It was just you and Floof that voted. <laughs> so, you got Floof's 5k... This seems pretty good. I think I'm going to do this. It'll make getting some points in the future easier. Um, we need some unlocks here. It's okay, Jake. It's okay. It'll, the flute, 5k is not that bad. If it was like 10k each, that'd be that'd be pretty rough. The debu debutante is holding a tiny teacup. Running around, feeling just has no grace to it. You should use intelligence and decorum. Um, what's Pathfinder? Uh, removes the penalty event from the first walking day every time you lose a car. Oh, it costs six. Can't do it. Can't do it. Um, <laughs> of course that's nothing for you, Chipthorn. When the hordes swarm in, you need a good weapon there, and lots of ammo. Uh, what's... Fighter... Hatchet... Two points of strength, one point in shooting... Uh, we have a Gungeoneer in bread. Probably do this. Uh, and you... Mine, trouble light sound sleeper. Sleep anytime, anywhere. Number one best at sleeping. Superhuman sleeping. Needs very little sleep. Never gets the tired status ever. Okay. Uh, what does that get us now? Hero type. Always, always be your bodyguard. Well, once. Saves a teammate from death in a, next, in a text event. Only does this one time per game. Starts with maximum loyalty. That's actually pretty cool. We'll probably get that next time. Uh, 
All right. Yep. Okay, does anyone here want to be a character that isn't already? Um, anybody? I can make you a character <laughs> in the game. Okay, floof. Loof. Dirty server. Alright, Floof. What do you want your perk to be? Mechanic, athlete, fighter, surgeon, gun engineer, martial artist, big bruiser, gun collector. You don't want to be in it? Okay, Thorne. Or healthcare, car nut, mega buff, ultra fit, friend of dog. Is this a not Explorer. Right, okay. Uh, martial artist, okay. No weapons? No problem. Start with a powerful two-hit unarmed attack. Refuses to use firearms, chainsaws, and some others. Gain one point in fitness, one in strength. Good. And trait? Are you paranoid, oblivious, charming, irritating, bandit, mysterious past, practical, warrior, you're charming. Okay. From perception of others, a good attitude and pure charisma. There's something about this person that opens doors. Charms way into free stuff or out of bad situations. Can't charm way out of everything. Alright. And do you want a boy or a guy or a lady body? Sadly, you can't. Yeah. Lady? Okay. And are you small, medium, or large? Or tall? There's small, medium, thick, and tall. You're a tall? Okay. And what color clothes do you want? Let's just do the clothes real quick. What color? There's so many clothes. <laughs> I think just ask, asking for a color is more efficient. I think there's a f blue and pink are cool. Okay. Let's see. There's pink with a black jacket. Or... You die in... That's, that's fair, Thorn. That's fair. Oh, there's pink and blue right there. <laughs> There's pink and blue right there. The first shirt. Oh, that one has... Uh, is that pink? It looks like pink. Is there a pink dress? What's this? Like a... Okay. Yeah, alright. Do you want a pink shirt with a little blue decal, or do you want the striped one? Brown, brown. Blue decal is fine. Okay. And so many decisions. Yep. I think it's just oh there is a tutu. If you if you want a tutu. There's some bright pink socks right there. Blue jeans, okay. Let's see. There's some. Okay. And head. I'll just do bald so you can see the face. Um, I'm just going to go through the faces. And uh, tell me what number face you want. There's 32. <laughs> so this is face one. 
Phase two. Phase three. You're young with wavy brown hair. Okay. Phase four. Phase five. Phase six. Phase seven. Phase eight. Phase nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Or if you'd prefer, I could just hit random a few times. Nine is fine. Okay. Then wavy brown hair. Two brown hair. Do you want a lighter brown or a darker brown? Dark? Okay. Uh, wavy hair. That's straight. Maybe this one? That's kind of hard to tell. Uh, there's this one, a big... Is that wavy or curly? Hmm. 34 is cool? Okay. Uh, hat will get rid of your hair. Do you want sunglasses? Bloof? Or glasses? Nah? Okay. There's some interesting things. <laughs> Eye patch. Okay. Uh, save. There's Floof. Uh, does anyone else want to? Otherwise, we'll probably raid out here. Those Velma glasses. I can give you the Velma glasses if you'd like food. Uh, this one? Yeah, okay. There we go. Alright, so we have me, Lucky, Teto, Fox Trunt, River, Sucrose, Berry, Chain, Oviron, Seribot, Bread, and Floof. I think I have, we have 12 pages of them. So, so uh, matches your dorkiness. Fair enough, fair enough. Alright, exit. Uh, okay. All right, let's see who's live. I think Sucrose is. Probably bring chat back. There we go. Okay. Who do we got? Oh, Barry's live. Did we raid Barry recently? I can never remember. Um... Who else do we have, though? Who else? How, I feel like we haven't read a raven in a while. Uh, what is raven playing? Uh, she's playing Alice Madness Returns. Okay. Um, so do you guys want Jump King? Uh, the new Zelda game or Alice Madness Returns? Ooh. 
Is this berry, sucrose, or raven? I feel like I have a rated berry recently, though. I feel like I haven't. And I haven't seen berry in a bit. <laughs> so, so. Let's see. Is Barry actually playing Jump King? Yeah. Okay, she's playing Jump King. You're trying to avoid spoilers for Zelda? That's fair. That's fair. That's totally fair. Okay, let's go say hi to Barry. Let's go say hi to Barry. <clears throat> um, I'll see you guys tomorrow for our ASMR. Um, thank you for being here again. Um, if I get this job, the hours are three to seven, uh, three to seven p.m. Monday through Friday. So I either have to do streams in the morning, or like. Uh, after I'm done with work, <laughs> so, um, and I don't know when I get home. So streams would be either later or earlier, and if they're later, I mean the shift doesn't start till three, so I can sleep in. That's fine. Um, but uh, yeah. So it, it we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'll find out on Friday. I'll find out on Friday if this is, if I even need to worry about it. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll find out on Friday if I get the job or not. So, um, but uh, good night, guys. Please be nice to Barry. She's playing Jump King with Zeki, um, so you can see Barry suffer. She's doing uh, um, she's raising money for the Blue Cross. Um, if uh, you'll please. Feel free to donate to that, but only if you uh, are financially stable and can take care of yourself. Please, <laughs> please, please. Uh, but good night, guys. I love you. Bye.